Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Alive! What is that, like two videos in two weeks? Whoa, a new record, what? Whoa, what is this? Um, so, there has been some updates in this game, but first uh, we're just gonna dart a Lambiosaurus. We've got a lot to talk about, um, concerning like dinosaurs, or like my team anyway. Um, also, something incredibly huge that's gonna be coming to this game. Uh, and that is in terms of boosts. So basically, uh, one of the biggest controversies I guess this game oh, almost, uh, has ever kind of faced was boosts. And boosts were kind of put in the game and it really did feel like they were a way for Ludia to, yes, make it, the game itself more interesting, have, you know, you had dinosaurs that were just the best and they were just the best because they were the best. Um, and then boosts was like, actually, well, if you boost this guy's hell, he was better than that thing. Um, so it, w it was a unique way for them to sort of, I don't know, change it a little bit, to add fun experimentation into your, your dinosaurs and your list buildings, possibly. However, you could not refund them without losing half of them. So it took 100 to put on, and then to refund it, you would lose 50. And Anyone who plays this game as much as I do, or even doesn't, you probably know even more so, how hard boosts are to come by. Um, so even if I just wanted to take off, like, one health, it's, it's on a, I might as well just not. I might as well just leave it on that dinosaur or creature until eventually it gets boof, boof, boofed, uh, buffed. <laughs> During this time this whole game's been around, they've, they've sort of had resets. So they've allowed you to just take them all off without any penalty. And that's happened twice, I think. Um, and then for the longest time, they haven't done that. And it really has felt like, especially when a dinosaur was really good, let's say Mortem Rex, who's not my team anymore. I've got, what, uh, 16 speed, 10 attack, 4, you know, he's maxed up. He's maxed up when it comes to boosts. And he, it's barely, it's unusable almost. When it comes, there's like, it's usurped by better dinosaurs and it's, it, you know, it's, they're, they're wasted. I, I could refund them, but I'm only going to get half back. And what this, what the boosts really should have been is a way for you to just play around and have fun and not be, be penalized for experimenting. You know, let's say you want to max up a level, a common, up to level 30 and then put boosts on it. Don't know why you do that because they're terrible anyway, but you know, you could have done that. Uh, but you couldn't with the way the boosts were. However, Ludia, uh, or Jam City, I should say now. Is it Jam City? Is, oh, I don't, either way. Uh, Ludia is now putting something in the game that allows you to get all your boosts back for free at a price of something else. And that is, if we showcase whatever this is, the tokens. So the current boost refund system will be getting a makeover. In the upcoming 2.14 update, we will be improving stat boost usage frequency by introducing stat boost reset tokens. The first iteration to get stat boost reset tokens will be participate or will be to participate in alliance championships and gain rewards. To increase your chances of unlocking these rewards, participate in all tournaments. The tokens themselves will only be distributed after your alliance reaches a certain championship reward tier. So a bit like we have with the Alliance Incubators, you know, you kind of want to just do the tournaments there and you'll, I think that's probably where you'll get them and depending on which, you know, how far you get, that's, you know, what thing you'll also get, as in like, you know, you'll get 10 or you'll get, <laughs> God, that was a pop and a half, wasn't it there? Boop. I don't know, don't know what happened there in that audio, but I saw that spike there, I apologize, as I blew some of these eardrums off. Um, yeah, the stat boost token will have a banked lifetime duration of 30 days when sent through the in-game mail. So be sure to use your collected tokens in order not to lose the consumable. The tokens in your inventory gained throughout rewards or purchases will remain there until you use them. So they're saying that if they're sent through the mail, you have 30 days to use them, but the tokens in your inventory gained through rewards or purchases will remain there until you use them. Okay, right. Uh, you may only have one stat type token stored in your inventory at a time. In addition, tokens of the same stat type are collected. Uh, they are sent to your in-game mailbox instead. 
Okay, so you're only allowed one of each. Um, but you can have multiple, however, um, unless they're collected, you know, you can have multiples, but they're in your mailbox. And if you don't collect them within 30 days of your mailbox, you lose them. Um, again, this feels like why? I mean, I can kind of, I kind of understand why they do it. Because if you could just stack these resets, then, you know, as soon as you've got a certain amount of, you know, stats, then you're never going to want more. Because you'll just keep ro rotating them through dinosaurs. Because uh, you only need eight for your best and then probably eight or possibly more for specific tournament creatures like a t-rex for the max attack or you know a gripe of sutures or so you know what i mean something like that um so you have the attack boost the speed boost and the health boost now as mentioned alliance championship re rewards will be the first iteration of the token distribution and we will be sure to inform you all when additional iterations or distribution plans have been decided and implemented right I'm not opposed to this. I think it's a really good idea, and thank God we're going to get a way to reset. However, it's only one. And not only that, it's one stat. So, we have eight dinosaurs here. Each have three stats. So, what are we talking about? I need 24 tokens of attack, speed, and health. Each. So, that's what? Like 62 or something? God knows. Uh, tokens to reset everything. I need 62 tokens to reset all my uh, my team at the moment. And I can only have one at a time. And the rest are in mailboxes. And by the sounds of it, they're going to be very slow to roll them out. So if I have a whole overhaul, it's going to take so long to do. Um, but at least it's there. They, they have not told us how you can purchase, because they do say purchase, the like other types. Which I'm a bit worried about, because whenever purchase comes into it, it's usually real money. And if it's not real money, it's thousands of bucks. Um, so, it, it's not the best situation as a player, because I'm, it's very slow. Um, but from a business standpoint, oh, it's amazing! <laughs> oh dear. Well, anyway, I mean, we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that, because, oh, just, just bad. <laughs> just bad. Just bad. Right. But we I want to do some battles because as you have seen, possibly, and uh, we've also done this. I think we collected. So, oh, 15 para. Nice. The rich get richer, as we say. Yes. The, the people with the best dinosaurs get even more rewards and therefore can boost more dinosaurs and therefore have even better dinosaurs. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Ludia. <laughs> it's corrupt is this system at the moment in the game. It's rubbish. Anyway, as you will have seen, I have a Spino Constrictor, because um, I can't remember who it was. Um, I was thinking of somebody on Discord. Um, men messaged, <laughs> mentioned to me, if I can even talk, um, that why do I have more Rex? Because more Rex is just terrible. It gets like attacked by everything, and it is true. Um, and I've been testing out the Spino Constrictor, because when it first came out, I thought, sweet, a snake. That looks so cool. And then it was just really bad. So, I mean, I haven't looked at a specific stats, like, to increase. I, mean, I know there's apps out there where you can, you know, uh, put them in and just see what, what you get without having to come... <laughs> without having to commit, sorry about that. Um, so, I mean, I've put... I, I think I've only put health on it at the moment, I think. Yeah, I haven't put any of that. I haven't put any attack. If i In my... If I'm thinking correctly, if I just put the health all the way up... That's better because this guy, yes, it does a lot of attack. Like, with especially with the precise rampage. And if it's quick, whoo, that's really good. Um, but it's 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 a bleeder. At the end of the day, it's a bleeder and evasive. And that's what I want to do. It can't be swapped. It can always be swapped out. Its attack never gets reduced. Its speed does. But who really cares when you've got, like, you know, you're bleeding a lot. Um, and it has a chance to be stunned. Um, so I'm thinking in my head, if I get, you know, I'm just going to increase its health more so i mean i maxed it to level 30 it was one of these creatures that i thought will i be able to get the level 30 i don't know and then i looked and i thought hell yeah i can get a level 30 oh i've been sleeping on this guy loads um so i don't think i'm anywhere near getting a level 30 of indotaurus even at level 28 though it is absolutely ludicrous uh it's power uh so i did actually just manage today to dart a tyrannosaurus rex gen 2 so, I think I need 100, or is it 200? It's probably going to be 200 a pop for this guy. But we could do three. We could do three. 
Um, we haven't had any events that give us T-Rex Gen 2 recently. Um, and I don't know why that is, I think. They have been quite generous with putting certain dinosaurs into these, you know, the darting events. And I would put up, you know, the, the event that's going on at the moment, but it resets on Wednesday. So it's really only rares today and then tomorrow for Tuesday is, I think Tuesday and Wednesday are the same. Um, it's the legendary, like, sloth thing with the deer horns and something else. So, nothing really I'm too fussed about. And really, I should do this on Wednesday, because then I can be like, this is what's coming up, but <laughs> we're here. Uh, and I'm not, of course, I'm not going to do the deer anymore. Oh, can we get this more? Is it Trodon? Ha ha ha! If we can unlock this beast, oh my god, we'll not be able to. We'll not be able to. It would be amazing if we could. We've only got two more pops of this. I'd love to have a double snake team. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh! Ooh, I don't know if we get a 30. If we get a mother flipping 30, we might have unlocked it. Oh, you fucking yeah. Oh, come on. No, no, no. I don't even think I can feed a Trodon enough to get that. Yo, that is... Woo, woo, so close. Again, this guy, another bleeder, this one, the Alberto Spinos, and maybe it'll get, I think it's, there's probably an update inbound for it, because I don't think it's, I've never seen it used, but I'm sure after it gets a buff, it'll be used by everything. Especially with that, like the shattering swap in wound, the no escape, the minimal critical counter when it gets hit, it'll probably get used. But until then, how about we do some battles and hopefully get the, uh, the new, the new constrictor on the go. Let's get, let's do it. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, arena 12. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Uh, oh, there it is. Ooh, 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 what do we do? Do we put it in first? Of course we put it in. Heck yeah, we put it in first. Of course we do. I want to win with it. I want to win. And of course we have to use, I, I have for the first time ever switched my picture because the carnival one, it's just great. It's just brilliant. It's pretty, it's colorful, and it's horrific. I love it. It's everything I love. So here it is, Spino Constricty. <laughs> yes, sneaky boy. Oh, it's really good. Um, however, if I was him, do I go for that? And like, I, I'm pretty sure he can, Oh, I could completely reduce he can cleanse himself, though. He's probably got... Yeah, I thought he would go for that. That's fine. That's fine. You can go for that. Um, I just want to go for, you know, some damage. Do 3,000. He'll probably do a big hit to me. Oh, ho, ho, lordy, lord. Um, now he's going to cleanse himself, is the thing. He's going to cleanse himself. Um, and then a vase... Oh, wow, my snake's really done nothing here in this team. Yeah, this was not a good matchup for him at all. Yeah, he's dead. He's gonna go for his cleanse. First off, he's gonna have a chance to kill me here, which he does, which is brilliant. So now he gets the cleanse, right? Yes. And you don't get to keep your cloak. Ah, thank God. I was gonna say, if you keep your cloak, you bugger you. <laughs> no, thank you, Tara. Actually, does have a, a resistance to it. No, it doesn't. Okay, to the counter. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what I'm switching into. Ooh, maybe a Taranex out first wouldn't have been so much of a bad idea. Oh, Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Okay. Going to try and get the uh, Toxic Quills and the Stun off next turn. Right, right. There's very low chance of it working because I'm 75% chance resistant to it. But okay. So we'll reduce his attack here. That's not so bad. We don't unfortunately go through his shield. Um, now, he's going to go first. And yeah, Toxic Quills now, there's very low chance of me getting stunned here. Incredibly low. Yes, I was going to say, if I get stunned, dear, screw the game. I'm, I'm quitting. <laughs> Never playing again. Also, don't go through his cloak for the second time. But at least we know we, we, we're doing this. This is, this is where we shine. This is where it gets really good. Now, he could, if he wanted to, which he doesn't, go for his, um, his instant camouflage. He maybe could have wanted to have done that. Um... I don't know if there's really much he can do here, apart from just try and get his Toxic Quills out again. Um, I think the cooldown on that's a bit too much. So it doesn't matter what he does here, if he goes for the, um, you know, I'm just going to go for regular hit, because if, even if he goes for the camouflage, I go straight through it. Uh, he swaps out, okay, that's good, gives me even more health, perfect, I'll take it. 
Um, I think he's... I wonder what he's wanting to use that for. Oh, okay. He just wants to get a good counter hit off. You know what? I respect it. I respect You want to get that good counter? Go for it. Here it comes, baby. And... It's <laughs> so scary. Right, in case he goes for Cloak, we may as well go for Devastation and just kill it. Right, so we want to do some damage to me and fodder off that. So what's next? Oh, okie dokie. Um, now, do I... What's his attack? Oh, it's it's almost max. Do I go for that and then a heal? Or do I go for a heal now? He's going to go first and then I could go for Devastation. Yeah, you know what? Let him go first. Do his... Oh, he's going to go for a sidestep. Oh, interesting. I was thinking he would just go for his instant hit and hopefully get a crit or something. But actually, he wants a crit now. Um, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, I'm going to be reduced damage. So, normally I do 5,200, but I'm not going to do as much. Um, so, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a play here. I'm going to reduce his speed because I know he's... Yeah, I knew he was going to go for that. I'm going to cleanse myself. Uh, he's probably going to get the crit, uh, which he does. I survive, however. And not only do I survive, I gain some health back. I cleanse myself of him. I reduce his speed. And he's pretty much dead this turn. So he has this. He has Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Um, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy just to go for Devastation. He's probably going to swap out because he'll want to keep this alive, knowing he can swap in, do that, or go for an instant, you know, hit. Uh, but if he does swap... He's going to give me health. Oh, he's giving me health. Oh, I think he may. Oh, I was going to say, do I stop him swapping out? But I don't. I don't think I do that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, is he going to fodder off? Oh, a Sarah Magnus. Does it get a crit? Oh, sorry, not a crit. Uh, a stun is the question here. It does get the stun. Oh, that's not good. Um, so, I could go for another dig in. And I'm kind of tempted to go for a dig in. I'll go for a dig in. Why not? He's uh, really whittling down my deer. Um, I, I, if I was a betting man, I'd still bet on him to win here. Oh, a cute stun. Interesting. Interest. Oh, and he gets it as well. Oh, dear. Right, you know what? Sorry, you're not having a chance to hit him. I'm <laughs> going to go for this. So, precise rampage. Um, ooh, now, let's have a think here. Um, he does have a chance to swap in his... Um, what do you call it? His bird. And it might be enough to kill me. But at the same time, I don't think it is. So I'm just going to go for a big hit here. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Okay. I hope I got that. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Well, at least it's dead. So, uh, now, what he's got either a... The Scorpius Rex or the... Right. Okay. So I think I know what he's going to do here. He is probably going to switch into his uh, bird. If I was him, switch into the bird. Just do it and get at least get a kill. Okay, he's giving me the win. He's giving me the win. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> if I was him, I would have just stayed in. Like, done the toxic quills. Um, and then, you know, after you'd kill, after, after I died and then swapped out. But he's actually uh, not done too well here, I don't think. Because now he's, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place, really. Um, because even if he goes for his instant, oh, he doesn't, he goes for a regular, oh, I don't know if that was a good idea, um, he's went for a regular hit, oh, no, 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 that was even worse, mate, worse, you should have went for your instant, at least then if you got a crit, you might have, might have killed us, um, so now I can just go for this and kill him, so GG, that was... I, I, I managed to win that. I feel like I was on the back foot. I feel like I was on... Uh, maybe I wasn't. You guys will probably know better. I'm sure. But uh, no, we actually won that. Wow. And it does feel like all the battles I... I very rarely come up against something that I'm like, Ooh, that's different. <laughs> it's mainly uh, like everything you've seen here. Plus the, you know, the... What do you call it? The, um... Oh, the other one. The, the para healer quadruped thing. That one. We'll do one more battle. Hopefully we can actually get Spino Constriction to do something, please. But we'll see. We'll see. See, this is the problem with this blooming game. You just want to showcase the one dinosaur and oh, you're, you're not allowed to do it. That's two games I've played and two games I've had lost. Thank you. I just want to showcase the bloody snake. Yes! Right! 
Okay, actually, this is a good lineup. We've got you Torinex first, and then do like a switch and hopefully get uh, into the snake and then get hit, do a counter, make a bleed. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, you Torinex against uh, Hadrosaur. <laughs> no, 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 it's not worth it, no. Because he'll go for Rampage, and that would have done a lot of damage. So we'll do this, yay, and then we'll heal, and go yay, and also half his attack, yay. <laughs> but, yep. In comes the slowing, but I don't get affected by slow. See, it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. So we've swapped in and we've only took that much damage now. So, yep, I'm happy with that. Now in comes the big hit. Now, what do we want to do with this big hit? Do we want to go for a we'll go for a cleanse? Um, and then he does his big hit and he also gets to do his rampage. Which is basically halved, because I think I've got 45% armor. Uh yes, okay. It's it's it could be worse. Could be worse. 2,300, it puts us in range of a model of Rhino swapping in. Um, so I want to be a bit careful with that. Because I... It, uh, do I want... You know what, sod it. Who, who has model of Rhino? Yeah, exactly, it's what I... I'm so, oh. <laughs> it's like he calculated. Right? Nope, we've survived. Oh, well, the deer died. The deer died. It could be worse. Could be worse. Right, so what's wh what, what could happen to him? Um, he could heal. That's fine. If he does it. You know what? Snake's coming in. We're doing it. If he swaps out, he's dead. I'll happily take that. Um, and what do we do now? Just go for the bleed? We'll bleed him? Yeah, let's bleed him a little bit. Bleed him a little bit. Um, I think he's able to... Oh, yeah. His counter goes through evasive, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh. Yes, he removes my, uh, my evasiveness. Yeah, it's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. So then there's a lot of damage. Yes. Right. Now, is he resistant to the damage reduction? He is. Now, you know what? I'm very tempted to save the snake. The snake could take a lot of damage here. Actually, no, we couldn't. We're alive. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, we're not going to go first. No, of course we're going first. Do we need you? <laughs> I was like, well, I could go for... The, 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 you know, oh god, now we're dead. Uh, unless we resist him. Yeah! Oh wait, no, he's faster anyway. Oh, we're definitely dead. Oh lord, we're dead. Yes, he's just gonna go for the instant, yeah, rampage. Okay, if it wasn't for the vulnerability, we wouldn't have died. But it was, so we died. Sweet. Another great use of the snake there. Uh, so let's go for this. Uh, this is the best case scenario. Uh, we have to go for the cloak, he'll go for his sidestep, and then we'll go for the cleanse, he'll go for his rampage run. Um, it's predictable. He's, he does have this guy to come in as well and do some damage, some serious damage, which is a bit of a shame. So here comes the lethal rampage, gets a crit, um, doesn't get go through the block, which is great. Um, I... Then also get another pesky alert. So I've got like double cloak, I think, on. And now whatever comes in is dead. Oh god, it's dead. It is very dead. Yes. Oh, how much damage worth is it dead? Oh, 8,000. Oh, that wasn't that much. Wait, did I not have two cloaks? Have they stopped the stack? I think they might have. That should be loads. Anyway, let's see what he's going to do now. Is, it, is, the, is the birdie bird going to come in? He knows if the birdie bird comes in, he's dead, right? He knows that. Right, it's a Sino, and he's actually quicker than me. That's dangerous. Okay. Oh, oh, he goes for group accelerating. Right. Does that put me in? Have we lost? Oh! Oh, maybe with that crit. We might have lost with that crit now, because now we can swap to his bird. Uh, and I think that bird might kill me. Uh, oh, no, we've won it. He's won either way. But you know what? I'm tempted just to swap. Oh, we didn't. I, I am done. I mean, we're, we're dead anyway, because he's going to do this. And yeah, we're, we're, I don't think we have any resistance to it. We don't. He's going to go first, swap in his bird. Either way, he could have finished us with his bird there. Um, and bam, there it is. Oh, never mind. We actually won. What? Really? Oh, I didn't expect that. We, oh, 
Oh, he could have finished me with the bird. He should have just swapped in. He's, oh, likable jester. Well, he's likable. He's, he's a likable jester, and I like him for that. Thank you, jester. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this video. For me, it's been 40 minutes. For you, it's probably like 20 odd. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, let us know what else Lydia can fix and make the game even better and not more pay to win. We could dream. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.